Hi everyone and welcome back to Kepri Gaming with me Matt and today I'm playing what is in my opinion the best football game ever made, Sensible World of Soccer for the Commodore Amiga. This one is the 96-97 season and although modern games like FIFA offer great gameplay and great graphics, I think in terms of raw gameplay there is no better football game than Sensible World of Soccer and if you were born in the 80s or 90s and you played this game I do think you have to agree. Sensible World of Soccer was incredible and in this video I'm playing three friendly matches, the new Premier League champions Liverpool facing up against their arch rivals Everton. Following that I'm controlling Manchester United, the champions of that season as they square off against rivals Arsenal, the good old battle of Roy Keane vs Patrick Vieira and Alex Ferguson vs Arsene Wenger. And then to end this video I'm playing as the team that I support Leicester City vs rivals Derby County and back in 96-97 both of those teams were in the Premier League. So after that fantastic nostalgic music, here we are at the main screen. As you can see you can edit tactics, you can do friendly matches, DIY competitions, season mode, career, you can view highlights. Although I've had an N64, Playstation 1, PS3, Nintendo Switch, Atari 2600, I must say that my favourite ever game system is the Commodore Amiga, maybe because it simply reminds me of childhood. But anyway, as you can see I picked a friendly match. And there we go, I'm playing as Liverpool and I'm playing against arch rivals Everton. So let's take a look at that team. As you can see we've got Robbie Fowler, John Barnes, the young Jamie Redknapp, Steve McManaman, David James in goal, Phil Babb, Mark Wright, what a team. <laughs> and here we go, Liverpool in red, Everton in blue, let's go. Liverpool were of course crowned Premier League champions this week so I thought it was right to play as them first of all. And already I'm struggling, there we go, I've got the ball. It's actually quite hard, it's harder than I remember. Oh, and I've already gone one down. I'm not going to watch the replay but 10 minutes in and I'm losing 1-0. Come on Liverpool. Yeah when I was a kid I mastered this game. I could play as any team, I could always win but this is quite hard. Saying that, Phil Babb. From nowhere Phil Babb threw on goal and scores. Who needs Robbie Fowler, who needs Stan Collymore when you've got the amazing Phil Babb. So 16 minutes gone and it's one all. You got big Duncan Ferguson up front for Everton. A passionate footballer you didn't want to mess with. I think back in the 90s there were loads of footballers like that. The Roy Keynes, Patrick Vieiras, Duncan Ferguson, Alan Shearer. Players that were passionate about the game and you just didn't mess with them. So 29 minutes in, it's still one all. I'm finding it quite hard to keep control of the ball. But here we go. Through on goal, Robbie Fowler. Straight at Neville Southall. God, I love playing this again, I have to admit. I'm going to get nothing done for the rest of the day now. No, Everton got the ball back and they're on the front foot. Saved. Saved by David James. Here we go. Fowler. Ah, oh, couldn't finish. Oh, 
Oh, Fowler's got the ball again. Oh no, tackled. Getting close to half time now. And there we go. The half time whistle goes. So I think a fair scoreline for half time. Goals from Stewart and Bab. And now Liverpool with the kickoff. Okay, out to the wing, John Barnes. Can't find his man. Oh, and it's a goal. Big Duncan Ferguson scores for Everton. Goodison Parker rubs and it's 2-1 to the home team. Come on, Liverpool. Don't let me down. In fact, I should say I shouldn't let Liverpool down. But here we go. Oof. Saved by David James. I think the amazing thing about this game is that... Oh, yep. Fowler through on goal. Scores! 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I think the thing about this game is that one button does everything. One button is pass, shoot, tackle, header. One button does everything. And you've got a joystick or a joypad. And I always played with a joystick. And I bet the kids today don't even know what a joystick is. Yep, back in the day, joysticks were the main thing. That's how you played your games. You didn't need fancy buttons and lots of controls and... You didn't need four shoulder buttons, four main buttons, analogue and digital. You just had up, down, left, right and a button. And that's how you play this game and it really, really works. Sensible World of Soccer is fantastic gameplay and honestly I could play this game for the rest of the day. It's competitive. As you can see it's 2-2. It is the first time I've played it since, well, 1997 probably. So that's a long time. But already it's just so good. I know they tried to revamp the game a few times. I think a version came out on mobile. And it was never successful because I think they tried to overcomplicate it. But anyway, full time and it was 2-2. So, a decent first play. I did enjoy it, but being competitive, I do want to win before ending this video. So, the next game I've chosen is the champions of that season, Manchester United, to take on arch-rivals Arsenal. Alex Ferguson against Arsene Wenger, and also Roy Keane against Patrick Vieira. And this Man United team was one of the best. Eric Cantona and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer up front, Ryan Giggs, David Beckham, Dennis Irwin, Gary Neville. The two goalkeepers in this game, Schmeichel and Seaman, the best two in the country. But you've also got Dennis Bergkamp and Ian Wright for the away team. So here we go, this game's at Old Trafford. Arsenal are in their change blue kit. Great save from Schmeichel. Corner comes in, fantastic header away. And here we go, Man United on the break. Cantona, oh. Taps it towards goal. Oof. Yeah, it's just trying to remember the... There were loads of little tips back in the day, things to make the game easier, things you can do to always try and score. And the more I play it, the more I remember those things. Here we go, here's Solskjaer, the current Man United manager. Be great to get a goal with him. 
but this game is pretty competitive. Arsenal are a good team in the game. Man United also good, and you can tell that because the players control the ball a lot better. Oof, safe on Bergkamp. Here we go. Cantona can't get it. Heave the ball up to Cantona again. Oh! Foul outside the area. Cantona on the free kick. Oof, good save by David Seaman. 31 minutes gone, nil-nil. Kicks it straight out, straight to the defender. Passes it forward to Solskjaer. Oof, another good save by Seaman. England's number one. Again, he boots it out again to our players. Lovely ball to Solskjaer. Oof, another good save. And again, oh, over the bar. So coming towards half time now. Arsenal on the break. Oh, fantastic tackle by Roy Keane. And a poor shot from Arsenal. But they're on goal again. Oh, just before half time. Oh, oh, Schmeichel keeps the ball. 44 minutes, and there we go. The whistle's gone for half time. Manchester United nil, Arsenal nil. The sensible world of soccer is all about this gameplay. It's fantastic. It's better than FIFA. I know you can't really compare the two, but in terms of raw gameplay enjoyment, I think this one wins every time. For me anyway. Cantona's through. Oh, it's a goal for Eric Cantona. 49 minutes gone. Beautiful ball upfield. Straight in that top corner. David Seaman finally beat. And my problem with this game was always defending, so... I've, oh, fouled on the edge of the area. Like I say, my problem was always defending, so I've got to be extra good now this second half. Pump the ball up. Long ball football. Sensible soccer is not the beautiful game. It's about getting the ball up to the strikers and shooting as hard as you can. The best way to score was going in at an angle, or also going straight down the middle and curling it. Oof, the Frenchman just over the bar. Arsenal on the attack now, Bergkamp. Oh, defended well. Oh, finds Solskjaer. Oh, another good save by Seaman. He rolls the ball out. Arsenal mounting their attack. Intercepted by the defender. Oh, out for a throw in. 68 minutes gone. Still Man United 1, Arsenal 0. Throw on goal again, but easy for Schmeichel, who kicks it out. Nobody there. And Bergkamp with a shot. Parried by Schmeichel, but now it's in his hands. Roy Keane intercepted. Oh, another good save by Schmeichel. Get rid of the ball. Here's Beckham. Solskjaer. Oh, another save. Ten minutes left. Can I get my first win? Oh, get rid of the ball. Solskjaer. Oh, I can't control it. Ian Wright makes the foul. Two minutes to go. Couldn't come at a better time. Finding Beckham. Looking for Cantona, but can't find him. It's back out to Gary Neville. Roy Keane fouled. Probably by Vieira. And saved by Schmeichel. And there we go. Game over. Man United 1, Arsenal 0. The champions of that season and the season before. And in sensible world of soccer, they've beaten arch-rivals Arsenal. Because back in those days, Man United and Arsenal were the big rivals. Well, actually, those couple of seasons, it was Man United and Newcastle, but that's another story. So, the final game I'm playing is my own team, Leicester City versus Derby County. Leicester had Martin O'Neill as their manager. We had a young Emil Heskey up front with Steve Claridge, Muzzy Izzet, Neil Lennon, 
club legend Steve Walsh, American Casey Keller in goal, and Derby have got Marco Gabbiadini, Dean Sturridge up front. Wasn't a particularly great team, but I think Leicester finished mid-table that season, I think ninth. And already you can see the quality of the team is not as good as Man United and Liverpool. It's harder to control the ball. The players are a bit slower. But as I'm a Leicester fan and because I'm playing against Derby, I really want to win. So I'm not going to lose this game. I don't care. Casey Keller hits it out. Oh, lovely header. And saved by Keller. Finds Heskey. Emil Heskey shoots and misses. 11 minutes, still 0 0. Now, ex Leicester player Russell Holt on the ball. Kicks it out. Derby through on goal. Saved by Keller. Come on, Leicester. Heskey. Heskey! Fouled in the box. That's a penalty. And it's Steve Claridge to take. 16 minutes gone, and Steve Claridge puts the penalty away. 1 0 to Leicester. Fair score so far. I think I'm dominating the game. And that was a definite foul in the box. And here we go again. Keller with the ball distributes it long. To Heskey. Goal! Emil Heskey scores this time. And it's Leicester 2, Derby 0. But after scoring the goal, Heskey fouls and he gets a yellow card. Surely there's no coming back for Derby now. In the safe hands of Casey Keller, the American international goalie. Oh, it's through. Oh, nearly through again. Good save by Keller. Come on, Leicester, get rid. There we go. Oh, so much space. And more Heskey. Back to Heskey. Oh, it's 3-0. 3-0 to Leicester. Emil Heskey on a hat-trick. And still 10 minutes before half-time. Now that's what I like to see. Oof. Nearly got his hat-trick then. Denied by Russell Holt. And Derby just praying for half-time. And here we go again. Heskey on the ball. Oof, beautiful save. He is the best player for Leicester. He's the fastest in this game. His control's pretty good too. He's had plenty of shots on target. He won the penalty, scored two. And there we go, half time. Derby County nil, Leicester three. So come on, let's extend this lead. Claridge passes it back. Balls in long. Straight to Keller. Easily. Out to the wing. Boots it upfield. Heskey. Oof. Oh. Oh. Okay, out for a throw into Leicester. Throw the ball away. Oh, and Derby threw on goal. And it's a goal for Marco Gabbiadini. Okay, 3 1. It's okay. It's only 3 1. Heskey again. Looking for Claridge. Leicester still on the ball. Heskey. Intercepted. Oh, and defence have lost it. Oh, oh, it's a goal. Dean Sturridge. 62 minutes gone. It's now Derby 2, Leicester 3. Derby back in the game. And I am worried. Oh, no. This is going to be close. Closer than I hoped. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Come on. There we go. Finds Heskey. No. Oh, intercepted. Booted upfield. Doesn't go out for a throw. It's kept in. Passing the ball around now. 77 minutes gone. Claridge. 
Claridge, Claridge! A second goal for Steve Claridge. Leicester now 4 2 up. Both strikers on the hat tricks. 11 minutes to go, and I think this has got to be a Leicester win. Just kick the ball out. 8 minutes to go now. Even though it's a computer game more than 20 years old, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's great to win, it's even better when it's your own team, and it's even better when it's over a local rival. So, 4-2 is a good score and I'm happy with that. Diving header away. And here's Claridge. Heskey. Oh, fouled on the edge of the area. Come on. Nearly a goal from the free kick. And that's it, full time. So it ends Derby County 2, Leicester 4, with two goals from Steve Claridge and Emil Heskey. And there you can see I've got 60% possession, dominated the game, and that completes my first go on Sensible World of Soccer for more than 20 years. Arguably the best game on the Commodore Amiga, and I still say it's the best ever football game ever made. What do you think? Is it Pro Evo? Is it FIFA? Is it Sensible Soccer? Tell me your favourite football game in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video from Kepri Gaming. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and leave a comment. And please share it on social media with your friends. Thanks for watching and more retro and new games coming soon.